unboxing. Now, these are some of the high quality fins, not the like the 80 to 100 dollar fins, but this is the 60 dollar roundabout fins. So they're not the most expensive, but they're not the cheap ass fins which won't last you a month. So I did buy these in a uh, let me just get that into focus there. A red and black, if you guys can see that. Let me just bring it up to the camera. A red and black in a medium size. So, a medium fits me pretty well. Now, that is the other side. And um, if I read the, uh, the thing here, it's the Limited Edition Surf Hardware PTYL. That's just their phone number and info. Oh, sorry, didn't really show it there, but that's it. That's just the info. And the specifications are, uh, it's a formulated natural rubber for flotation and comfort. And, um, sorry, just need to get into focus. There we go. So you can see there. Bring it out a little. So those are the specifications. And, um, they're very nice. And they are a lot of, a lot like duck fins. Yeah, duck fins, and they're pretty high performance, so they're not the cheapest, but they're not the most expensive, like I said in the start. So let's get to the unboxing of these pit fins. So we'll put them down. And fins are a bit odd. They don't really come with bubble wrapping or anything. They just come, just just fins, like no protection. Now see, that's this is the nice thing about it. They, they're really squishy there, but then when you get here rock hard so you get nice and looseness for any um damage not damage to your feet but it's nice and comfortable like they said on the specification so i put that one there get the second one out shut the box aside you can put that fin like that and here's the second one so as you can see, you can see their logo there, limited edition, and they've got a hole in the bottom there, especially for when you've got fin savers, and they're attached around the back there, that you don't, like, they don't drag you down, because if you're dragging through the water, the water would escape there, but if this was closed, it, it wouldn't escape, so it would, like, drag you down if your fins do come off. That's a very good little, um, extra that they put in there and um, when they say made in Malaysia now if it's made in China it isn't actually as good as the Malaysian rubber because the Malaysian rubber is actually better than the Chinese rubber it's a better quality rubber and um, that was told to me by the surf shop owner then again um, he was not trying to rip me off or anything the two fins were both the same price and size but the rubber was just different now if we just get the box again and we read out these specifications. You guys can see that. It's single center str strut for blades, for blade strength, flexibility, and thrust. And bevel, beveled heel strap to assist elimination of chafing, which I hate chafe, especially on this part of the fin when it's too loose and like you get chafe in there just on the top there and on the back with your heel now that makes it very uncomfortable when you're bodyboarding which isn't always a good which isn't very good because when you're bodyboarding you want it to be comfortable when you're pa paddling for a big wave or, you re or you're a bit further out back but you think you might be able to get a closer in wave so you've got to be able to paddle those distances with the, f the right fins and without it chafing because then it becomes very uncomfortable to swim distances with these fins. So, once you get to the basics, sorry, I'm heavily breathing. When you look at the fins, now, I've always wondered this about fins. Now, it's not that I'm picky or anything, but it is a bit odd how on the fins, they do have not a clean like that. They just have a, you know, just that rubber, soft rubber, and then the hard rubber. It's not like a clean cut look, which I actually like because it gives it that cool, you know, look that is like weird, but it's not actually, it just looks really cool on it. And then again, each fin is it like is unique because like 
how it's got this blur here, but then it doesn't have a blur here. It's got a blur here, but it doesn't have a blur here. So it's really nice. But then again, they could make their name more bold because when it goes into the black, you can barely see it. Now, even on the camera, you can barely see it. So it is. it would be a better feature if they could have, you know, this maybe in like green or something to show that it's their fins. So if someone was walking or holding them and you just see it and they're like, oh, they look really nice fins, but I can't really see the brand. Instead of, like, you don't want to keep asking people, sorry. You don't want to keep asking people, oh, what fins do you have? Because, like, it would be better just to show them and you'd know it's their product. But just say someone's online and you can't actually ask the person on YouTube or something, then you'd be able to see it maybe. So it would be better if they had a logo that would stand out. But apart from that, these are really great fins. Like, I've used them in the past before, and they're amazing. They don't chafe. It's so smooth on the inside. Like, it is legendary. Like, they're amazing. I love them. And, um, yeah. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe and check out some new videos. There will be a new, not unboxing, but unwrapping of an NMD Jace Finley Pro Ride. So, thanks for watching, and bye.